today I am going to show you how to uh, create a disk image uh, from your footage in Final Cut. Uh, one of the reasons for creating a disk image is uh, the ability to easily burn DVDs whenever you need them. Um, say you have a show or a DVD where you need more than one copy. Um, it's really easy just to archive uh, a disk image uh, of your DVD so you can quickly burn one using uh, the Apple Disk Utility, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment, um, whenever you need them. So uh, here we have a project uh, in Final Cut. And uh, it's some aerial footage I shot um, this last year here. Uh, so kind of cool stuff. But uh, basically, uh, so this is all edited. It's ready to go. And I want to create a DVD. So I'm going to go to my export menu and click on DVD. And let's call it uh, Aerials. And for my settings, there's some different options for DVD. Now, if you want to go just straight to DVD um, from Final Cut, you can use um, the disk burner attached to your computer um, if you just want one copy but uh, I want to create something that I can create more copies in the future really easily and archive it so I'm going to create a disk image on my hard drive um, layers if you have a big video you can change it to double layer um, under two hours you should be fine with a single layer DVD disk templates you can see in this little square on the bottom here you can go black or white um, simple but um, I prefer black for my for my DVD when disk loads, you can show the menu or play the movie. So if you don't want to show a menu and just want to go straight into it, you can change that menu item. Markers for chapter markers. And uh, something kind of interesting you can do here is uh, create a background. So I previously created a uh, still frame from my footage that I wanted to be my key image for my DVD background. You can see here it's uh, previewing here on the menu. So that looks pretty good. Uh, you can see it's about 115 megabytes. Everything looks fine. We're going to go straight to the hard drive, so I'll click Next. Um, call it Ariel's DVD. And this will create uh, the uh, disk image right on my desktop. So I'll save that. And now this takes a little while, um, depending on your video length. This is just a, about a two minute video, so it won't take very long. Um, but it's creating a couple of files the AC3 file and uh, also a uh, M2V file, which is the video file. This will take just a little while, so we'll use the magic of editing to advance time a little bit more quickly. Okay, so it looks like it's finished and it's created our disk image. So I'll just close our background task monitor here and minimize Final Cut. And as you can see, uh, Final Cut has created a file uh, named Arials underscore DVD dot IMG and that's an image file, disk image file. And to burn this, all we need to do is open up Disk Utility, and I like to go through Spotlight. So we'll type in D-I-S-K, there it is, Disk Utility. Opens up in a window. And right now you can see this is actually already in our left-hand uh, column, aerialsdvd.img. If it, if it wasn't there, you could simply drag it into this little column. Click on it once, click Burn. And at this point, it waits for a disk to be inserted. So I'll just put one in right now. So when you put a disk into the computer, uh, Disk Utility will detect that, and your options will become available to burn, eject, or cancel. Um, speed, maximum, I'm impatient, so I like it to go fast. Um, you can also choose to verify. If you have a really important DVD and you want to make sure it was burned correctly, uh, you could use the verify um, checkbox here. It will check to see that the DVD matches the image. Uh, and after burning, we can either eject the disk um, or mount it on the desktop for playing. So I just want to eject. So hit burn. Progress bar comes up. It writes the track. And this depends on the size of your DVD. It can take uh, anywhere from 2 minutes to 15 or 20, depending on the size of your disk image. So that will write the track. After it's done, it will spit out the disk. Sometimes closing the session takes a little while. Okay, so it's done closing the session. That actually took about three or four minutes on my computer. Uh, that can vary based on the length of the DVD that you're creating. And now, as you can see, it's going through 
verifying the data on the burn disk uh, with the data in the IMG file on the computer desktop. Also will vary depending on the length of your disk. This is a very uh, small DVD, about two minutes, so it just took a, a few seconds to verify. And after your burn is completed sex successfully, it will let you know uh, if there's any issues. Uh, spits the disk out the side of the computer and you can burn another DVD if you'd like. And again, just to do that, remember to click on the image once to highlight it. Up at the top, click burn, insert a disk, and then click burn. A lot of times I don't verify uh, because I'll check disks on the DVD player anyways, but um, definitely an option if, if you'd like to use it. So that's pretty much how you make a uh, DVD from a disk image using Final Cut uh, Pro 10. Again, just a really great way to archive uh, disks that you've created for future use. Um, I have a folder on my hard drive of uh, 50 to 100 of these IMG files that I can simply burn uh, in a few minutes time if a client or a, uh, if a client or a customer ever needs an extra copy. So a uh, great way to archive your DVDs digitally. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment below. I'll do my best to answer your questions, and I hope that this tutorial has helped you out.